everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Justenia Poisson and this is the Poisson channel. In today's video we're doing the week by week pregnancy update and this is week number seven. So before we get into like the baby development and all the things, within this week we told pretty much all, like all our parents that we wanted to tell and like family that we wanted to tell and then the last people that we told was Devin's brother. My brother-in-law and my sister-in-law and it took three weeks to get in touch with them they were just really super busy so we were trying to tell them and the way that we told people was since our last name is Poisson we said made a we put a croissant like a bun in the oven but we put a croissant instead in the oven for I think pretty I think for everybody um, I'm not sure there's a ton of different videos that I filmed of the family and we put the croissant in the oven here's a quick clip are you looking you see it a bun in the oven? Are you pregnant? It's a croissant in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> I told you she would get it right away. <laughs> you see my new oven and my new croissant? It's a baby croissant. It's a baby croissant, Mary. <laughs> Okay, within this week, I did wind up going to the gym. I'm feeling semi okay, but let's dive into the baby development. Let's begin with the baby development, and the baby is a blueberry. So for today, the baby is the size of a blueberry. We have the size of a blueberry. We have 30 weeks, 33 weeks to go. The nickname for my baby is Baby Petri. If you know the Land Before Time movie, the little raptor bird, whatever it is. Okay, let's dive in. So we have new brain cells forming rapidly and we're in our two month of pregnancy. Your baby is 10,000 times bigger now than what it was at con conception. As new brain cells are generated, at the rate of 100 per minute. How's that for a budding genius? Baby's arms and legs are development and then the baby's got kidneys. So the baby has formed kidneys at only seven weeks. That's pretty crazy. Let's go deeper. It says even if you're not telling anyone that you're pregnant, which you know, I'm telling my family. I'm so impatient, I can't wait. And then just talking about early signs, you may have swollen breast. I don't really have tender breasts at this time, but there's fat building up in your breast and blood flow is going into the area, different things like that. And then you might go with some food aversions. I'm definitely having, you know, some food aversions more like I have no cravings but definitely food aversions. The baby's uh, lifeline, the science for the baby, the umbilical cord, welcome to the womb. This tube joins the baby and the placenta, delivering oxygen and nutrients and even eliminating waste into your bloodstream. That is so amazing. Also, there's so many benefits within the placenta, so definitely do your research. I will be doing placenta encapsulation because you lose a lot of blood when you give birth and the placenta has so much nutrients. It could provide more blood back into your body. There's just so many benefits for the placenta. So definitely do your research on that. But the placenta is where the baby is connected to and where, you know, they're gonna get all the food and stuff. So let's see, we have the, the weekly videos. So I'll tell you pretty much everything I kind of said in a short story in that video. It says best foods to eat when you're pregnant. How big are you? It talks about pregnancy during a pandemic this is a newer video and then what are normal HCG levels your HCG levels are what tells you if you're pregnant or not you have to have the HCG CG levels in order to be pregnant. So that is week number seven, a little, little blueberry. Some bodily changes that I have are some breast changes. My breasts are more, not so much swollen, they're just bigger. As well, my skin is really dry lately, but I think it's just the weather that it has to do here because I don't normally have dry skin and I moisturize every single day. Definitely moisturize every single day during pregnancy, but I'm a fanatic. I have to have like chapstick, I have to have lotion on every single day. That is just my personal preference. So this week we're gonna go over the symptoms that I'm having. I'm having 
having quite a bit of symptoms. Uh, we're, we're gonna, you know, dive right in because this is, we're all adults here and uh, this is like a normal human function. So I'm having a lot of gas. I normally don't ever have gas. I'm having a lot of burping. I'm burping a lot. For some reason, twice I had green bowels, bowel movements. I'm not really sure because I didn't really eat anything different, but I'm just letting you know, you know, the deal. What has happened this week? Also, I am definitely feeling still the nausea and just an uneasy stomach. I have a very low appetite, low energy. I know I seem upbeat right now, but I have a very low appetite and low energy. Overall, I am very sensitive to smell. If Devin cooks something and I don't like the smell, I literally have to close myself inside the bedroom and put the fan on. It's horrible feeling but you know there there's a reason that's happening because we're creating a human being anyway and the last symptom for week number seven is that i'm urinating a lot i'm getting up like two to three times at night to go to the bathroom which is obviously normal the emotions that we're going with this week is sad grief overall grateful but i just recently as you saw in week number six if you didn't watch that video i lost a friend back in the states i do live in japan and she passed away this is someone that i went to acupuncture school with it's just been a grieving period of time for me that's a lot to deal with especially when i'm not feeling well on top of it and then just with my family there is some health stuff going on within my family back at the states as well so it's like you know when they say all things come at once that's what it kind of feels like I'm trying to sit with gratitude but I am feeling a little lower in energy and just my mental health as well uh, let's see any fears that I have this week next week uh, week number eight we have our first ultrasound so that's really something to look forward to and getting you know the little ultrasound picture that's something positive anything I'm fearing right now I'm just fearing having a hospital birth essentially I really wanted a home birth but they don't do that here because there's no ICU no NICU whatever you want to call it they don't have that here so it's actually dangerous to have a home birth and not have the incubator or whatever just you know I know in the back of my mind that I have several doctors in that I'm not gonna have one particular for the delivery room. So just anxiety around that. Okay, let's go into recent purchases. So if I mentioned this in the previous video, I'm sorry, I don't remember. In the timeline of when I ordered it, this is when I got the purchases. I bought this Ina. Ina, I think, Ina May's Guide to Childbirth. And this is a really cool book because there's so many home birth stories, or there's a couple hospitals, but a lot of it is like home birth stories. She is the leading midwife. I got recommended this book, I think from a YouTube channel, a YouTube video, but half of the book is about stories. And then the other half talks about everything pregnancy, like prenatal care, postpartum, labor, like more of the natural way of having pregnancy. I highly recommend that. I'll leave a link below for everything that I mention. But I got that book and I would definitely get it at the start of your pregnancy and start reading it because it is 300, almost 400 pages long. It's taken me a while to get through the chapters. The chapters are really long. Then the next book that I have is by Benjamin Watson, The New Dad Playbook. So my husband has a book to read as well. He's about halfway through the book now. I'll leave that down below as well. And then we got our family gifts that I'll link down below and I'll show you guys a picture here for my grandparents. I, one set of grandparents, I got them a onesie. The other one I got, we got mugs. Uh, let's see. For my brother and sister-in-law, we got t-shirts for both, for my brother, one, I have two brothers, so one brother I got a shirt, and I believe the other one I got a mug. And then my parents, for my mom, I got her a shirt, and then my dad and my stepmom, I got, did I get them something? I, I don't remember, but anyway, I'll leave everything down below of the recent purchases of everybody so that you guys can have an idea as well of like what to get. And the last thing that I purchased was the Morning Sickness Bundle by Pink Stork, my prenatals, Morning Sickness Tea, which will be in a separate video because it'll just be 
too long of a video to show you everything so that video should be up after this one is posted other than that that is everything for a week number seven little baby petri is a blueberry and i actually think i bought blueberries this week as well not intentionally it just wound up happening that way anyway be sure to hit the like button down below if you like this style of video of the week by week pregnancy updates as well subscribe to my channel to keep up with me weekly and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!